Hello, my name is Renee Price and I am the director of Neue Galerie New York, a museum dedicated to the fine and decorative arts of Austria and Germany from the early 20th century. Today we are here to reveal the Arhorn Viennese picnic set, one of the many elegant and exclusive products offered in our design shop. Now that spring has sprung and the neighboring Great Lawn inside Central Park has opened to the public, I look forward to taking many leisurely picnic lunches there in the company of good friends and my dear schnauzer, Marie von Barksky. Should you choose to do the same, we invite you to look closely at the row of commemorative benches lining the western periphery of the Great Lawn. On one of these special benches, a plaque bearing Millie's name thanks the Central Park Conservancy on behalf of all dogs for the park's year-round splendor. This Viennese picnic set awarded Best Outdoor Accessory by the 2012 Travel and Leisure Design Awards is actually inspired by a picnic set I inherited from my grandfather. A passionate hiker, he spent much of his free time backpacking through the mountains of southern Austria. I remember still vividly his beautifully worn leather rucksack, inside of which he carried his cherished picnic set. He never hiked without it, as he enjoyed to stop, admire the landscape, and eat. One of our first goals in adapting my grandfather's picnic set for the Neue Galerie Design Shop was to make certain that the beauty of the exterior matched the beauty of the objects you find nestled inside the zippered interior. Hand sewn by R. Horn, a longtime collaborator of the shop and my favorite leather designer in Vienna, the carrying case is fashioned from a luxurious pebbled calfskin leather, available in blue, brown, camel, green and black. For optimal picnicking, the R. Horn Loden Tote, part of the Viennese picnic sister set, also doubles as a waterproof sitting blanket. Inside the picnic set you'll find historic design reproductions as refined as those set on the fanciest of Viennese laid tables. A pair of American maple wooden sandwich boards, which also serve as your plate, are accompanied by two sets of stainless steel flatware designed in 1906 by the architect Josef Hoffmann. Josef Hoffmann was an important Austrian architect and a co-founder of the Wiener Werkstätte or Vienna Workshops, an applied arts collective he established with the designer Kolomann Moser in 1903. In its heyday, the Wiener Werkstätte employed over 600 artisans. They worked with practically every kind of material, including silver, leather and textiles, and created bespoke jewelry, furniture and even created total interiors. The total work of art, the Gesamtkunstwerk. The cutlery series called Rundes Modell, or Round Model, was one of the first designs executed by Hoffmann for the Wiener Werkstätte. Practical and logical in its construction, the comfortable curved forms represented a radical new vision for cutlery at the turn of the century. This cutlery set also holds an important place in Austrian cultural history. The round model series designed by Hoffmann was used in the Cabaret Fledermaus, a night spot and performance art space popular with Vienna's leading figures and a venue that was designed from top to bottom by members of the Wiener Werkstätte. The Wiener Werkstätte sought to produce useful and well-made objects for the home, and among the most innovative works were the firm's metalwork designs. While the simple aesthetic of these works suggests machine production, they were in fact handmade, often in very limited numbers. This cutlery is also accompanied by a set of cotton napkins decorated by Hoffmann's Riva pattern, a cheerful textile he designed in 1910. These napkins will no doubt come in handy when indulging in your Bretteljause, a charming Austrian expression that describes the feast one might bring to a picnic in the countryside or in the Vienna woods. Bretteljause consists of a delicious charcuterie, including hard salami, cheeses, pickles, radishes, butter, and bread. Of course, to go along with the Bretteljause, one will also often have something to drink. Inside, a small interior pouch makes room for salt and pepper shakers, while a discreet magnet functions to keep the stainless steel corkscrew in place. Not all hikers enjoy wine in the country, because they like to get home in one piece. If you do ultimately decide to have wine in Austria, you might have it in a tavern or at a Heuriger, 
a rustic wine bar serving the local wines which dot the traversable countryside. As you now well know, a long tradition of backpacking prevails in my native Austria. The country is divided into nine provinces, the most mountainous of which include Styria, Carinthia, Salzburg and the Tyrol. Spanning the Upper Austria, Styria and Salzburg provinces is the magnificent landscape of the Salzkammergut region. It was one of Gustav Klimt's regular summer destinations and among his favorite choices for painted subject matter. One of the things I find most interesting about Klimt is the type of work he chose to create in his free time. When Klimt was able to escape the heat of Vienna for the cooler temperatures of the Austrian countryside, these summer months gave him the opportunity to paint uncommissioned works. During this time off, he was able to paint what he saw in nature. We know that Klimt would arrive with canvases on stretchers, and if he was lucky, he would depart for Vienna at the end of the summer with eight or nine painted landscapes. While we don't believe that Klimt was necessarily a great hiker, he was passionate about the outdoors, and we know most certainly that he loved to eat and drink. I think it's safe to assume that if Klimt had owned one of our picnic sets with designs by his friend and colleague Josef Hoffmann, he certainly would have put it to good use. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you soon, either in Café Sabarski or with this special picnic set in Central Park. For more information about the Neue Galerie Design Shop, please visit us at shop.neuegalerie.org.